Welcome back everyone, this is Chad with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we have another suppressor review for you, and we're gonna be discussing the Yankee Hill Machine Turbo K for KERS, which means short or tiny. This is one tiny 556 suppressor. And uh, I heard a lot of good things about this from some friends over at a local gun shop. Uh, they were very happy with it on several 556 rifles, including an ACR. And uh, we got this one in from Silencer Shop just to check out and do a demo for you guys. And this suppressor is one of the older uh, versions with the smooth uh, front cap here. The newer varieties have a little built-in flash hider. Uh, the baffles have not changed from everything I've read and been told. Uh, still the same design. Now, this suppressor is obscenely light, okay, for an all stainless steel and ink and nail suppressor. Um, it is 17.4 precipitation hardened stainless steel. It does have an ink and nail blast baffle with the remaining baffles being the 17.4 stainless steel. It appears to be Cerakoted. Now on the naked size right here without the adapter on, it's 8.83 ounces in weight, okay? 4.75 inches in length and it's just over one and a half inches in diameter. Now the QD adapter is included, okay, for the price, and we're gonna to get to that in a minute. Throw the QD adapter in, and you go right at five and a half inches, okay, and you're under 12 ounces. This thing literally disappears on the end of a 5.56 carbine. Now, for the price, this is, this is where this can really shines, and one reason why I wanted to check it out and demo it for you guys. So this Turbo K ships with the suppressor body itself, the QD mount, and an included QD muzzle device, okay? MSRP of 485, and street price is usually like low to mid $400. That is an excellent value for a suppressor that's ready to throw on your rifle right out of the box with a QD mount. And guys, typically these QD mounts are at least 90 to $100 in a lot of cases. I mean, just all across the industry, that's kind of the standard fare. And uh, what an excellent value Yankee Hill Machine is putting out with these suppressors. Um, just fantastic. Now, we did shoot this only on a couple of 16-inch carbines officially. Uh, we used just a regular DI uh, rifle with a standard gas port with a CMMG barrel. Now, the reason I like to use that rig is because it represents a sort of lower cost entry level barrel assembly or upper if you will, uh, that a lot of people could afford and purchase. Um, now the gas ports are usually gonna be a little bit larger just to run a wider variety of ammunition relatively reliably. Now with that extra gas comes extra pressure coming back into the system, especially when you add a suppressor and uh, it's quite loud at the ear. We were seeing high 140s to low 150s at the ear on the DI rifle. Now I do have a properly set up superlative arms piston driven AR as well that has the gas fine tuned for uh, non-suppressor operation. Now with the Turbo K attached we were back down in the low 140s where most ARs are going to be typically at the ear. You're going to be right at that hearing safe margin. Now Yankee Hill on their website they do advertise uh, a DB rating of 138 uh, with 55 grain ammunition. Now, they don't specify whether that's at the ear or at the muzzle, but guys, as I've mentioned before, with suppressor metering and testing, no matter who's doing it, the environmentals that you have at the time of testing are gonna play a large role in there, as well as the ammunition choice. We are running full power M855 ball. So if you're running underpowered ammunition, like some off the shelf 223 Remington and 55 grains, yeah, you're gonna save yourself maybe a couple, maybe a few dB. But we like running full power ammo here because these cans are meant to take it. Now, the uh, Turbo K is full auto rated. It does have a barrel length restriction of 10 inches. Before we started filming today, just out of curiosity, I wanted to try the suppressor on my 18 inch piston rig. That's more of a BCM setup with one of their match grade 18 inch barrels. And uh, this thing did not disappoint. Um, it was definitely hearing safe at the ear in this environment. And guys, we just kind of held the meter up. It's not exactly official testing, but we were well below that 140 dB threshold for being hearing safe. Uh, and we were using full power M855. Now, the mount that I have on that particular rifle, this is another point I wanna make here about the suppressor and why it's such a great value. Uh, I have one of the Area 419 taper mounts, okay, that's meant for the ASR thread pitch, which is one and three eighths by 24. Now, the rear of the turbo, K okay, is threaded for this common thread pitch. So that means you can use any ASR threaded adapters that are out there on the market. 
including other brands like Dead Air's Chemo, the Silencer Co. ASR mount. You can use the Silencer Co. Direct Thread mounts. You can use the Yankee Hill stuff, obviously. You can use the Area 419 mounts. Um, that's what makes this such a great value, in my opinion. All right, guys, that's been the Turbo K from Yankee Hill Machine. Again, special thanks to Silencer Shop for getting this in our hands so we could uh, do a demo for you guys. I um, have to say, you know, for a suppressor in this size range, uh, you know, on a standard carbine, just to take that edge off is fantastic. You know, it's not going to be the quietest thing out there, all right? You guys have to expect that from, from a 5.56 can in this size range, it's not going to be 100% hearing safe on everything that you put it on. But as I mentioned, a longer barrel rig, this suppressor is so lightweight, it just disappears on the end of it. And it can definitely provide you with some hearing safe performance on some longer 5.56 rigs. On the short rigs, definitely takes the edge off. And I think that's really what it's meant to do. Just take the edge off a little bit and make shooting a little bit more comfortable. But I would recommend still wearing Ear Pro because you're gonna hover right there at that hearing safe range uh, with this setup. But what a cool little cam. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more silencer content coming down the pipeline. I want to give a special shout out to those of you who support us over on the website. Uh, we have t-shirts and apparel and other merch available on Ballistic Inc. Those funds earned go right back into supporting the content that you see here. Also, you can go over to iraqveteran8888.com and pick yourself up a man can. That's a direct way to support us. We usually do a bi-monthly box that is packed full of useful goodies uh, at a great price. Also, if you want to, you can throw us a buck or two on Patreon. Those funds go right back into supporting the content you see here as well. Uh, stay tuned, guys. We have a lot more on the way. Take care.